What's up guys, welcome back to part two of the 2004 CR125 build. Recently got the back tire off, FMF shorty, gold series fatty. Uh, the gold on the fatty and the shorty will match the gold spring. I'm going gold chain. Uh, I got a gold chain guide, or a red chain guide, sorry, and uh, red sprockets. Here's the pipe. Radiators destroyed right there. That. that one's perfect, so I have a spare. I'm actually going on um, Amazon and uh, getting two brand new radiators for this thing because we're doing it right, boys. We also got the V Force 3 reeds, which that's a big upgrade. Those are like 400 bucks nowadays. New crank, Wise Code crank, and bearings. Full gasket and seal kit for that thing. And uh, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna be a mean 125. It's gonna be pretty quick. I might even go with the uh, smart carb. Or, uh, yeah, smart car. I've heard lots about them. Heard they're pretty good. And, uh, yeah, boys, I'm stoked for this build. This is probably going to be the last final part. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get every single part and uh, get putting it on the bike. All right, boys, we just uh, didn't get every single part because uh, I'm not getting a Wiseco crank and bearing set. I'm actually getting the hot rods and they're supposed to be, they're expensive, it's 450 bucks, but they're supposed to be really good. Um, yeah, but look what we got in the truck. Let's go open her up. We got the box, baby. I think there should be, I actually got the front sprocket I had to return because the inside diameter is too small, but I think I got everything. Let's say, say you guys, I'm gonna open this thing up. All right, guys, we have the gold chain, the chain wax that's actually clear, so you can actually see the gold chain. This sprocket's a bit bigger, so that'll mean more torque and more high speed. Full gasket and seal kit, $140 for this, when it takes $5 produce, to produce, but uh, I'll kick you guys in the montage when I get this thing on. Right, guys we paint match this side with the red bolts and the red um chain uh guide so now we're doing the brake guard the other brake guard and the uh, line clamp it's the little things that are make, gonna make this thing look sick so i'll pick you guys up when i get this thing done all right guys if you take a little looksy poo you got it all painted i let it sit overnight so i can actually touch it and it, this stuff won't chip, so looks pretty good. It'll match the new plastic that I'm going with. And then I gotta chug this quick. Put this bad boy right here to match everything. It'll match like the airbox, the tires, the red of the bike. And uh, yeah, boys, I'll see you when I get this thing on. All right, guys, just finished. It's looking pretty good. This whole bike is turning out awesome. It's color matched everything. Once I get the plastics, this thing's gonna look sick. And then, yeah, I'll have all the parts. I haven't ordered the plastics yet, but I'll get this thing running good first. And then once I get all the parts, I'll get this thing running. Crack the case open, clean everything out. And yeah, boys, I'll see you guys then. Oh boys, we finally got absolutely everything. I can't really show you the uh, radiators because um, I rewrapped them. But I'll put a picture right here. All right, guys, we got all the parts. We got the manual, the uh, ceiling gas kit, gold chain. We got the sprocket and uh, Florence um, bearings for the crank. And then here we got a. And here, yeah, we got the new sprocket that actually fits. Hot rods crank which they're supposed to be uh, way better than stock or Wiseco or anyone. So, uh, there was okay guys in the montage. I'll put all the plastics back on the bike. And then after I do that, I'll uh, get to the engine. See you boys.
quick break in the video. Just letting you guys know, I will be getting Polysport re Recycle Kit because the plastic's broken, but it's actually pretty sturdy. I'll uh, be cleaning these up, shining these up, like I did the front fender, and once I get the motor in, I'll rip this thing for a couple days, and then I'll get the new plastics, boys. So there will be a part three, uh, and a big ride video in part three, so stay tuned. And yeah, we'll get the uh, engine all apart and shipped off because there might be more problems than we think. But I think we have all the parts maker on. And yeah, boys, I'll ship it off and pick you guys up when I get it back. guys finally got the engine back there's only about three days but yeah here she is looking awesome um and then i had to order another um full top end kit because i was missing the pin and then the stock crank the bearings were just screwed up so i have a new or that's a newish crank probably only has like 25 hours on it but yeah boys i'll get the engine in Got everything in, didn't film it because I didn't want to bleep something out every four seconds. And uh, these <sighs> radiators are really making me mad because there's no way a line's gonna fit right there. So I might have to trim that and then just make her real tight. And I have no idea, but these have to join each other somehow. So I, I don't know boys, but yeah, we'll see. boys i bit the bullet on the resale kit spent 345 bucks on this thing but she looks mean and i actually brought the whole bike together I'm gonna get a new seat cover and uh yeah we're just out here repping the little backyard track and if you want to see a video of us ripping me and nick then uh, make sure to check out our latest video i'll actually be posting this video after we've ridden the track and uh yeah boys thanks for watching